Hi there, it's Chris Chinchilla, and I'm back doing an updated tutorial for Voice Training Learn to Sing, which is an app for both Android and uh, iOS devices. Uh, now, as you can see from the main screen, if you've watched the previous video, we now have two new modules, which is Vocal Range and Vocal Agility. So I'm going to just spend a few minutes going through these two modules just to give you a sense of what they're about and how you can use them to help improve your singing. Now let's go into the vocal range module. Now just press the back to clear the screen. Now before you can use the vocal range module, the first thing you have to understand is what is your vocal range? And that's a very tricky question, especially in terms of vocal development and you've got male and female and all these different voice ranges. So what I could say to you is the best thing you could possibly do would be to go and see a professional singing teacher in your area for let's say a month. Just try four lessons for a month and just learn a bit about your voice and about your voice range and really within one session they could tell you your workable, usable voice range. But uh, And then they could actually give you the actual numbers and uh, the actual notes and then you could punch the notes right into the um, select range of notes right here. For instance, you can change the different note names if you don't know what those are the different octaves of range so that's I definitely suggest that for you to go see a professional singing teacher in your area take a few lessons and just learn what your voice range is if you don't know if you've never trained in music or you haven't done singing before if you have done it before then you're gonna have a good start but let's try there's a few other ways to go about doing it so let's have a look at that one point that I need to mention is that I'm using an Android tablet. So this is the setup for an Android tablet. But if you're using an Apple device, I've noticed with the range, you need to go, the range won't be here, you need to go to the home screen if you want to uh, input the range directly and you press the settings button and the range is here. But this is an Android device so it's a slightly different setup. So that's something to keep in mind. There can be slightly different setups and of course in the future the app can be revised and things can look a, bit, a little bit different but the basic concepts are going to stay the same of how you set your range. Other than using some of the tools that are within the app which we'll get to in a minute there might be a very rough uh, rule of thumb for figuring out your voice range. Okay, so you press these little two little arrows there. Let's look at that again. You see the two little range arrows? You press those. Okay, so let's start with the guys first. Now, again, this is highly subjective and very tricky because men have wildly different voice ranges. Uh, but the, the basic principle behind this area of the app is you figure out your workable, easy singing range at the moment. And then over weeks and months and, yes, years, you slowly expand your voice range without pushing your voice. So it's best to be very conservative when you first start with this area. So, for instance, uh, just off the top of my head, if I was going to think about um, an average male voice, uh, most men are kind of mid to low baritones. So let's be safe here and go from, well, A sharp... Yeah, okay, well, A-sharp, I would call that B-flat. It's a little clearer. But if you went from A-sharp 2 to A-sharp 3, right, which is fairly low, it's just one octave. So if you're a male and you have a normal average voice, you might want to start from A-sharp 2 to A-sharp 3, which is not really that low, and it certainly isn't high. And you would put that, and you'd press OK, and then that would go into your voice range. Then, and I'll show you in a minute, the app runs different scales and you sing within that range. Now, through the magic of the internet, I can already hear all those voices out there saying, I don't want to sing that low, I want to sing high, I want to rock the planet. Well, yes. Okay. But the idea behind this is if you don't really know what your voice range is and you're not sure, you can start with a very limited one octave voice range that we put in there. And just do some of the exercises, which I'll get to in a minute, and just warm up your voice for a few times through. And then if you find it's not going high enough, then you can go back to the range, for example, and add one more click to the top. Right? One click to the top if it's not high enough. Or, for instance, let's say you put it in wrong and it's too high, you can go down a bit. So, men, you're going to be on this side of the range. Okay? Now let's move on and try to come up with some basic voice ranges for the female voice. Now this is even more complicated than for the male voice because some women can sing so incredibly high, uh, but everybody is different. So again, we're going to start very, very conservatively. And again, if you've already trained in singing and you know your voice range, you can just go ahead and put in your 
notes and go from there. But this is geared more towards people who don't really, haven't studied music yet and are new to singing and they're just kind of wondering where to start. Okay, so again, you press the voice range. And again, for a female voice, and again, this is very, very general. Let's say we would go from approximately a G3 to a G4. Let's see if I can find that quickly. So a G3 to a G4. Now again, this is not a voice range. This is just a beginner um, idea of where you might put these numbers, where you might put the notes and try them out for a few times. For instance, this doesn't even go into the soprano range. Uh, most women, or a lot of women, can sing much higher than that, if not in a pure soprano voice, at least in a head voice, which sometimes you can practice in that as well. And obviously some women can sing lower than that as well. But if you just pick G3 to G4 and do some of the exercises, you're going to get a sense of, uh, does it feel comfortable? Is it too low? It's probably not going to be too low for anyone, but it certainly is going to not go high enough for a lot of people. So let's have a look uh, at the widest range of notes. If we go all the way to the right here, you have a G6, which is an extremely high note, right? That's five notes higher, five scale tones higher than a C6, which is a soprano high C, which is obviously a very, very high note. So uh, only a small percentage of people will be singing up in this area. So again, this is a very, very difficult area to talk about uh, voice range. But the best thing to do is if you start out conservatively and slowly over a day increase your range a little bit up and a little bit down, over time you're going to figure out your voice range and hopefully eventually know your actual pitches, which, which are what these numbers are. These are actual notes on the piano. And then you can practice. And then for men, we have a low E2 for the men with a more of a bass voice. Okay? So that's the basic idea. Now there are some other tools that are built right into the app where you can hopefully try to figure out what your voice range is. But again, it's very, very tricky. For instance, here we have a little waveform. If you press that icon, what it does, it's going to listen for the note that you sing and then record that note. And once you save it, it will go into the range test. But the problem is if you have background noises or there's certain reverberations or maybe even your voice produces overtones, um, and sometimes you don't know which which is which. Uh, it can sometimes give you an incorrect note on the top here, so that's something to watch out for. Okay, so I'm going to go back. And I'm not going to talk this time, and I'm just going to lightly sing my notes because if I sing full volume, sometimes I seem to get an overtone, which uh, creates an issue. We'll get to that in a second. So I'm just going to lightly sing the notes uh, and see if we can get a basic uh, upper range note and a basic lower range note. Okay. See, it's at a D4, and you save that. So that saved, and I was being very conservative because I was having issues with uh, what I think are overtones. But anyway, I'll get to that in a second. So now I'm going to press my voice range, D4 to B2, which again is a very uh, beginner's voice range for kind of a, a light baritone. So now let's go back and let me try singing with a bit of a stronger voice. Oh. can see that the numbers coming up here are an octave higher than the number that was here. So either that's an overtone or I need a new tablet, uh, but I haven't figured it out yet. Okay, so that's all right. So that's why I was singing a bit softer. If you're having those similar issues with overtones, then uh, there may be a workaround. There's another tool within the app where you can explore your voice range. It's called Free Sync. Now what this area of the application does, press that, when you sing a note, oh, that gives you a C4, which is middle C. That's an actual note on the piano. And if you sing that note, and if you remember that number, 
C4, you can actually punch that into the range. But let's. But here I'm going to show you something, an issue as I was having before. As you can see when I'm talking, it's searching around for what note I'm giving and it's jumping around. But I'm going to sing that C4 again. Oh! Okay, everything seems fine. Now I'm going to add a little bit more resonance and openness to my voice, and then sometimes you can see there's two notes forming at the same time, which I believe is an overtone. It's either an overtone or indigestion or there's something, or I need a new tablet, but I think it's an overtone. Okay. Because you can see there, two octaves were happening at the same time. So I find that interesting. It's something I just actually discovered basically yesterday. So I, I don't have the exact answer on that yet, so I'm just still looking at that. So that's another way where you can try to figure out your voice range. Oh, so in that case, that was an F4. Or if you want to experiment, again, I want you to be conservative with your voice range to start, but you can do even higher notes if, if you're capable. You see that? It's a C5. And you got to be a little careful with, if you have a vibrato, you need to be a little bit careful with it in this section, because I'll do another note. Ah! Uh, you see, when you do a vibrato, it's actually moving with the pitch. But it's kind of fun. You can fool around with this area and, and see what your voice range is. Right? So that's more of an advanced blended upper voice. But if um, you're just a standard male singer and you're still uh, beginning, oh, C4, D4, and then I'm kind of going to go down the scale and you can see what's happening in the lower end. Oh, So the free sing is a, um, another area of the app where you can just explore your voice. Now what you do not want to do when you're setting your voice range is to sing your highest note possible and scream your guts out. Because then if you go and use that to practice scales on, you can very easily hurt your voice, damage your voice, get hoarse. You know, that's one thing a lot of people don't realize is when you're singing and if you're not doing it right, you can get physically injured. Like an athlete. So it's best to be conservative. I know I'm generally talking to myself when I say this. So again, this is another area of the app where you can just explore your voice. And again, um, you're going to sing a relatively high note or a mid-range note a little bit high and then a lower note, but again, not too, too low to start with. And you're going to get the two numbers. For instance, you're going to go, oh, So that's a D4. Again, it was coming up D5. Again, I'm not sure if that's an overtone or a glitch, but uh, we'll get back to you on that. But that was a D. And it uh, wasn't that high. For, for some men, that's quite high. But for other men, it's not high at all. So that was a D5. And that was real D5. That wasn't an overtone. So... Um, and then, of course, uh, female singers are going to be singing a lot higher up this way, and I don't really feel like singing in that range at the moment. <laughs> well, maybe one up. So that was not an E6. That would have been an E5. E6 is uh, <laughs> uh, dog whistle range. Okay, and then you're going to sing lower in your voice, too. So I just sang a couple of uh, higher notes just to see how the uh, app was responding. And it was probably distorting, so I'm just going to stand back a little bit more. Hopefully that will help, but it's uh, very hard to, without a compressor, to sing the high loud notes without getting distortion. But oh well, that's okay. So let's try a couple of high notes and see how the app responds. So that's 
that's coming up at D5. So that was around an E5 as well. Uh, so again, just to summarize, if you're going to try to figure out your voice range using free sing, don't do what I just did. That was just for fun. You can do that for fun, but that's not how you figure out your workable practice voice range. What you would do is you just pick a middle note, something like oh. So right there, I'm around a G3. Oh. All right, so that's a D sharp or an E flat um, <clears throat> four. So you'd remember that, write that down with a pencil, because that might be your upper range. But again, don't forget, your upper range may be here. Oh, your upper range may be a B3, your conservative upper range just to begin. And then you sing on lower. Oh, which would be a B2. And again, of course, for women, for the female voice, you're going to be uh, quite far that way, depending on the female voice, and uh, you can look into that. Okay? Now I'd like to quickly go through some of the exercises within vocal range. So we press vocal range. Now before we get into the actual exercises, remember we've just gone through and you've worked out what your range is, either by seeing a professional voice teacher, by working with a friend who's a musician, if you don't understand musical notes yet, by using the uh, onboard voice range tuner, and by also using the free sing module of the app. So you've got your voice range. Now let's see, what am I going to put mine in here? Just for the sake of argument, let's just go C to, just keep it there for now. Okay, so you've got your range, it's inputted. Now let me just explain these icons. This icon on the far left, that takes you back to the home screen. So in case anything is going a bit funny, you can just press that and start, start over again. And then I'm just pressing back to clear the screen. This blue arrow here, that's if you were in one exercise and uh, you want to fast forward, you just press that and you skip to the next exercise. This, these two arrows here are ascending or descending. Personally, I just keep it on ascending. And there's your voice range, which you've inputted. Now, here's the main part of this module. The little search icon here, you press that. Here you have a list of, what is it? 36 exercises. Now, there used to be about 10 in here, but recently I suggested we add a whole bunch, and there's a lot of very advanced scales in there. And some of them are for fun. Some of them are something you might want to think about doing uh, five years from now. So uh, I just wanted to go all the way from beginning right to professional level and having all of these different levels in here. So it's something that you can literally work on, and I'm not using hyperbole here. You can work on this for 10 years uh, uh, to try to get through this. Um, there is a lot here, so, but that's, that's good. That means you can have a lot of fun. Okay, so the first one I would start with would not be exercise one per se. Let's start with exercise two, which is the three note scale. This is uh, Do, Re, Mi. Remember that uh, song from The Sound of Music? So this is the best place to start. It's just a three note scale. And all you do is you sing along with the app on open vowels. And again, we can't get into full blown uh, singing training here, but hopefully um, uh, you can pick up some of that over time. Oh, 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 oh. sing along with the app, singing nice and smooth, okay? And then this goes all the way up through your range. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh. oh, and you get the idea. So it goes up to the top of your posted vocal range, and then it goes all the way back down to the bottom. So I wasn't going to play the whole range, but maybe this time I'll just let it play through, because you'll see how it works. Oh, 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 oh. You keep singing along. Oh, 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 oh. oh wider your voice range is, obviously the longer it's going to take to go to the top and all the way to the bottom. Oh, I still have about six notes to go because I think I posted my range in a C3. I probably should have made it smaller to make it quicker, but oh, just very natural. it ends okay and right here you can change exercise adjust your vocal range or go again now uh, before we move on I just want to show you one feature we'll get to in a minute so again you press the um, search glass there and you see my vocal workout we're gonna to get to that in a minute because what you're gonna do is pick a few exercises that you like maybe you could start with one exercise or three exercises and then you put them into my vocal workout and then that allows you to automatically go through your exercises so you can have a customized 10 minute vocal workout or a customized 20 minute vocal workout you're probably not going to want to go much longer than that or if you're you know much more advanced perhaps it could be up to 30 minutes but again you want to you don't want to overdo it with these things okay so we did the three note scale now let's go over the exercise one the single sustained note this is a way for you to go through and sing all five vowels now we have them here, A, A, E, O, U. So you can actually say those vowels with me. A, A, E, O, U. Just very natural. You don't want anything phony or affected or contorted. You just want a very natural sound. And you can also add an M to the vowel if you want, like Ma, Me, Mi, Mo, Mu, just to help you um, get a good projection with your voice. But let's go through it first. Uh, I'll do it both ways, ah and ma. Ah, For this exercise, do not go to the top of your range unless you're a very advanced singer because you do not want to be straining at all. This is just about getting your warm-up going, getting your voice going. I'll do one more and then we'll move on. I Okay, so that's a wonderful warm-up uh, to do to train your voice. Okay, let's move on to another exercise. Press the icon. Let's look at the five note scale. Now once you get comfortable with these uh, different exercises, you can do all five vowels going through the exercises. You can either do one vowel like O or A, ah, or you can do all five of them in sequence and ultimately, because ultimately you should be able to do each scale on essentially any vowel. I'll show you how to alternate vowels on this one. So it's just a direct five note scale. Oh. <laughs> 
And I just shortened uh, my range so we can go a little bit quicker. Okay, that's the five note scale. So we'll move forward and do a few other exercises. Now I made my voice range uh, smaller just to show you there's a little fail safe here in the app. Uh, so for instance, if you're going to do exercise nine, octave and fifth arpeggio. Now you need to have a reasonably wide vocal range to be able to do this exercise. So if you don't have that kind of range at the moment, you're just getting started, you won't be able to do certain exercises. So let's say we'll do the octave and fifth, and we'll press that, and it says, okay, and you start, ah, see, uh, exceeds your vocal range for now. Never push your voice, etc. I put these notes into there. You don't want to push your voice. So that's okay. If a certain exercise exceeds your vocal range for the minute, for the moment, don't worry about it, because you'll, you'll come back to it later, and you'll be able to do it at some point. But if it's a mistake or you just didn't punch in your numbers properly, all you have to do is increase this on both sides. Okay, we'll just do this for now. We'll go back and we'll do that exercise again. Because this is a this is a very, very good exercise, but this is again a little little bit advanced. Oh. Let's go back to another exercise. Let's do the major scale because this one you have to do it in time. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's go back and check out some other scales. Last one we did was the major scale, and you have major arpeggio, harmonic minor scale, minor arpeggio, harmonic minor with turn. Now these are more advanced scales that you use as you get uh, more advanced as a singer, especially if you're doing uh, conservatory studies or if you uh, if you're in a performing arts high school or if you're ultimately if you want to go to university and study music but even if you're not going to do it professionally you should still go through some of these scales so they're similar scales but you can see that they are they're uh, using more chromatics so it's good for your ear training so let's just listen to this one right. so you can see it's different from a major scale Harmonic minor. So there's various different scales along those lines. We have the uh, melodic minor, major third exercise, various scales. Here's, uh, I won't go through all of them because we'll be here for a long time, but there's many, many different scales in here and you can have fun and be creative with them. And as you can see, we have a number of different scales here. Major third exercises, descending, legato, and staccato, dominant seventh. That's actually quite a difficult scale uh, as you get more advanced. This is a good one, major scale and thirds. Oh. Now here we've got exercise 22, chromatic scale. This is very challenging, but this is good for your voice and more importantly it's good for your pitch. So um, it's a little bit tricky to get the hang of, but that's okay, it just takes practice. Now 
Now, a way to get started to keep track of the notes is you can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that's a very advanced skill. Once you're getting down in this area, things are quite advanced. Okay, that is very, very advanced skills. I've put these in just so people have something to look for in the future. One of my favorite exercises is the quintuplet scale exercise. So that's five against one. So you'll hear how that goes, and I'll sing, that along, sing along with this. So how do you count that is? One, two, three, four, five, 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 one. Again, these are getting more and more advanced. These are something you do in the future. And again, these last scales, some of the one or two I put in just for fun, and they're very, very advanced. So have a look through these scales, and uh, don't worry about the ones in the second half unless you're very, very advanced. Uh, start with the ones at the beginning. That's more than enough. Okay, now let's move on. Okay, now that we've done an overview of uh, some of the scales which are in the app, we're going to move on to what's called My Vocal Workup. This way you can customize your uh, vocal exercises and make it automatic. So you can just turn on the app, and if you're practicing every day for 30 minutes like you're supposed to, then you'll uh, everything will be set up and you'll be ready to go. So what you do is scroll down to the bottom and you see My Vocal Workup. Okay? So this way you can customize the exercises you want in it. Now the single sustained note, like I said, is not always uh, the one that you want to start with. So let's put in... Uh, let's put in five exercises. Normally you can just start with a couple. Let's put in three note scale. Oops. First thing I have to do is uncheck them all because they're all checked. So you select none. So nothing is checked. Now you're going to select the ones that you want. You're going to select three note scale, five note scale for sake of example, uh, arpeggio, which is a triad, but that's a good one, uh, major scale to ninth, and then let's add the chromatic scale. Where's that again? This dark light is making it hard to see. Okay, then we scroll up and then once you've selected, let's say, five scales, and again, if you're beginning, just select two. Or if you're more advanced, you might select ten scales. But again, that's quite advanced. And then you press OK. Now it's all set to go. So you're just going to press Start and it'll go through everything. But for the sake of argument, let's just go back to the home screen. So now that we've implemented and inputted My Vocal Workout, you go to the home screen and you press Vocal Range, and right away your preset scales are ready to go. And you just press Start. And like before, you sing through this entire scale. It will go right up to the top of your inputted range and then right to the bottom. And that gives you a nice training. And remember this blue arrow? You can always do this and you can skip to the next exercise. through to the top and to the bottom and you do this every day three four five times a week to really train your voice and your breathing and everything skip to the next one and this is the arpeggio the triad oh and again you go through your entire voice range major scale to the ninth one of my favorites and if you get more advanced you can be creative like this I did it at double time. But again, uh, we're going to get more into that later. So we did that one. And now the chromatic scale. Oh, remember? 
this one, you might want to count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very good. Now we press forward. You see, finished my vocal workout. Now you can change exercises, you can uh, work on your vocal range, or you can do the whole thing again. If, you're, if it's short, you might want to do it twice. Okay, so that's the basic idea. And then later, let's say you want to mix up your exercises, which is good. You just go back to my vocal workout and you deselect the exercise that you want to leave out and you add a different exercise in. And again, this literally, and I'm not exaggerating, could keep you busy for 10 years. <laughs> Which was sort of my intent when, when doing, when contributing to this. I thought, okay, let's put the basic exercises in, let's put the intermediate exercises in, and then let's put in the advanced uh, classical exercises that you would do um, at the close to the highest level. And there's a couple in there just for fun too, because it's you gotta have fun too while you're doing this. So I think that pretty much sums up the vocal range module. I hope you get the idea. Now, there's another module here, which is vocal agility, vocal range, vocal agility. Now, vocal agility is similar to vocal range, but essentially you're gonna be going faster and there's different speeds. Okay, so let's pick exercise three, the five note scale, which is also in the vocal range. We're gonna pick that, okay? And then we, I'm just going to press back. And you see the little running man setting here. This is your speed. And you have one, two, three, four, five different speeds. So you have the standard speed, which is similar to what we've been doing. And then you have one that's a little bit faster, intermediate. Then you have the advanced speed, which is getting faster. Oh, 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 oh. And now we have the pro speed. You don't have to be professional to do this speed, but it helps. Oh, 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 oh. And now we have presto. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 okay. And then we go back and you see there's quite a few exercises in here but not as many as in the other sections. Arpeggio, five note descending scale, major scale to the ninth. Let's do this one. Oh, 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 oh. Obviously, that's very, very quick. And again, you don't want to overdo it. Advanced is usually good, more than quick enough. Let's go one faster. Pro level on the ninth scale. the idea we have quite a few scales here and then below the scales there are some riffs you have blues riff soul riff you could try some of these riffs as well again the most important thing with these is to start them at a slow tempo always start it at the standard tempo and you go over and over and you learn this and you repeat it at a slow tempo and then only later do you increase the tempo. Now, of course, there's a, there, there's a riff setting here and you can go through these and try the ones that you uh, seem to enjoy and do them at a slow tempo and faster. But later, it's the same idea as if you listen to a singer that you really like and they do a nice riff like, Whoa, 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 whoa. You can play with those riffs and enjoy that. So in summary, I think I've covered most aspects of the new modules, the vocal range and the vocal agility. Again, the vocal range, the whole concept is you're gonna go in here, you're gonna figure out your workable, easy, relaxed vocal range. Then you're gonna go through some of the exercises practice and over time over weeks and even months and years slowly expand your range in both directions and experiment with that and experiment with the different scales 
Yeah, you don't have to get carried away. You can just stick to the uh, oldies and but goodies, the ones near the top. Those are the good scales. But as you get more advanced, you can try some more advanced scales. And vocal agility, which is a module which is currently uh, being worked on and improved as well, you can go in here and do the different uh, scales from the previous section and also some of the riffs. Always start at the slowest possible tempo and then slowly build up the speed. And again, with my vocal workout, you can customize this section as well. So that's it for these two sections. I hope you got something out of this uh, uh, updated tutorial. Remember, in order to improve your voice, you really have to work on it uh, more than you think. So if you're just practicing one time a week, it's really not going to be enough because you make two steps forward and then you go three steps back if you're not singing enough. So really, you need to be practicing three days, four days a week at minimum, and maybe five or six days uh, a week as you get a little bit more serious. So work on this aspect of the app, work on the other aspect of the app to get your ears in tune, work on repertoire, breathing, relaxation. Of course, it's always best to get some high quality uh, vocal lessons so you can learn the subtleties of the different aspects of singing. But this is a good place to start. So remember, have fun, practice, and uh, we'll see you out there.